Now at five, charges dropped against a former Ladue police officer who faced up to seven years in prison for shooting a suspect. Good evening, I'm Corey Stark. And I'm Paige Halsey and for Samantha Jones. It was back in 2019 that that officer said she mixed up her gun with her taser when she shot the suspect in the back. New at five, our Russell Kinsall taking a closer look at the unique process involved in resolving this case. He's live in Clayton. Well, for possibly the first time in the country, St. Louis County Prosecutor Attorney Wesley Bell used a mediation process called restorative justice to resolve an officer-involved shooting case. It allows the victim to talk directly to the suspect, ask questions, get answers. And I'm told their conversation was very emotional. In this surveillance video, you can hear the gunshot. In 2019, former Ladue police officer Julia Cruz had gone to a schnook store after a call about a shoplifting. Cruz encountered Ashley Hall in the parking lot and shot her in the back. News 4 spoke with Hall during her recovery after she filed a lawsuit against the city. Thank God I've been resuscitated and I'm living. Cruz's mugshot shows she was clearly upset about what happened. She was charged with second degree assault and admitted she accidentally used her service firearm when she thought she'd grabbed her taser. Early on, um, the victim in this case, Ashley, um, was public about forgiving uh, Julia. St. Louis County Prosecuting Attorney Wesley Bell had never used the restorative justice process in a case, but thought there might be a possibility with this case because of the women involved. She talked about how Julia, uh, when she was shot, came to her crying and apologizing immediately. In this case, the suspect was remorseful, the victim forgiving. So Bell tried this different approach to resolve the case in a way that the victim wanted using restorative justice. It's about healing, it's about accountability, it's about justice. Here is a photo of the restorative justice session that was done by Zoom. It was facilitated by Seema Gadwani with the Attorney General's Office of Washington, D.C. When you think about justice, sometimes what justice requires is somebody genuinely showing remorse and taking responsibility for what they've done. That's true accountability. And in many cases, that's what the person who's been hurt really wants and needs. Bell said the session was emotional. And I counted at least five or six I love you's between them. Well, the process allowed for remorse and forgiveness that satisfied the victim. The charge was dropped. Uh, Hall has since moved away from the St. Louis area, but Bell said the two women actually talked about getting together someday so they could hug one another. A remarkable outcome after their two lives converged because of a violent mistake. Live in Clayton, Russell Kinsome is for. Yeah, Russell, quite the outcome there. All right, thank you.